Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna go over the concept of non-ideal solutions. So we're gonna go over a few characteristics of non-ideal solutions. One of them is a solution which does not obey Raoult's law is called non-ideal solutions or each component do not obey Raoult's law over the entire range of concentrations is called uh, non-ideal solutions. So we know that from Raoult's law Let's say we have two components A and B. So according to Raoult's law, PA is equal to uh, XA, which is the mole fraction of component A, and P naught A. But for non-ideal solutions, they are not equal. And similarly for component B is not equal to X of A, P naught A. So there are like two types of non-ideal solutions. In one, when um, PA or PB is greater than XA, P not A, or we can say PB greater than XB, P not B. So in these type of non-ideal solution, they show positive deviation from the Raoult's law. So positive deviation. I'm going to make the video on this concept as well, positive deviation from Raoult's law. And the other type of non-ideal is when it is less than what is expected from the Raoult's law, so pressure. So th in this case, it's called a negative deviation from the Raoult's law and um, uh, we can say the vapor pressure of such solution is either higher or lower lower than that predicted by Raoult's law the other thing is the volume the change in volume so that means when we mix these two component the volume is either going to be uh, the, the volume of the component before mixing is going to be either greater than the volume of the solution or it is going to be less than the volume that was before uh, mixing. So the volume will change when we mix them. So that means the change in volume is not equal to zero when we mix them. So it's not equal to zero. And uh, similarly, they'll be either heat absorbed or released when we mix two components and um, in that case delta h mix is not equal to zero so whenever we're going to mix those two components there'll be a reaction either heat will be uh, absorbed or released or we can say exothermic or endothermic reaction so in that case enthalpy will change or there will be change in energy so delta h mix is not equal to zero so we have example like when we mix sulfuric acid let's say sulfuric acid is a solute into water then the amount of heat will generate and that will be very large and then there will be change in volume and also change in um, uh, you can say there will be heat will be generated. So such solution is called non-ideal solution. Also, the other thing is the interaction between the components um, are different from those of the pure components. So like as we said, we have A and B component. So the force of interaction or we can say the intermolecular force of attraction between A and B is not going to be equal to the intermolecular force uh, force of attraction between the pure, pure components. So FAA will not be equal to FBB. But they were equal in case of ideal solutions. But in case of non-ideal solutions, so this will not be equal. The, the force of attraction will be different. So the new interaction, the force of attraction between AB, the new interaction between AB 
is either less than or more than the interaction of the pure component and that's why there will be either a heat generated or heat absorbed so delta h mix will not be equal to zero and the volume will either increase or decrease let's say we have component a and component b both are let's say one milliliter one milliliter and when we mix them the volume will be so before mixing the total volume is two milliliter but after mixing it will be either greater than two milliliter or less than two milliliter so the delta v mix will not be equal to zero so that's all for non-ideal solutions so one example the other example is when we mix water and ethanol water and ethanol is another example the other one we can say sulfuric acid and water h2o so two most commonly used example for non-ideal solutions